Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today is Wednesday. So let's go ahead and sit down and chit chat together. Uh, this is a whip and chat and that stands for work in progress and chat. So we're going to work on my diamond painting, which is Cauldron of Myrrh by Diamond Art Club. And I'm using very similar things as to what I've been using this week in my videos. So my Firefly Diamond Art Tray, Enabler's Outpost Pen, and I'm using the, I'm still using Sweet Figs Pity Putty uh, in the scent, oh, well, Sweet Figs, Sweet Figs Pity Putty. Um, and I've already got my diamonds ready to go because I was working on this last night. So I'm just gonna open up my section here and continue. Now, this little needle minder I have here is originally for cross stitch but I you can use them interchangeably between cross stitch and diamond painting this is from Agnes Little Minders on Etsy so without further ado let's talk about what's been going on in the past couple of weeks it's been very interesting since I got home uh, from the states and I've been a busy busy person. Um, a lot more busy than I have been in a while. Um, I'm going to try really hard not to bore you with all the things, but I have a couple of exciting announcements. Um, since last week, my first ever art turned into diamond painting. Um, it, it is available at enablersoutpost.com. So if you did, if you were a bit confused by the video that I put out last week, because I was a little confused when I opened it, to be honest, I didn't know when it was going to come out. It is out. So I'll make sure that I put a link down below if you're interested in purchasing a diamond painting of my own art. Uh, thank you in advance. And thank you to everybody who has already purchased it. I really appreciate it. Uh, Enablers Outpost, I highly recommend that you go check out their social media channels. Um, especially if you're looking for a discount code, hint, hint, um, but please, uh, show some love to our small shops this holiday season, because I know it's not easy and, um, and I would love to continue to make art into diamond paintings in the future. Uh, and I'd love to do that with Enablers Outpost, but the only way to do that is to you know, purchase a diamond painting and show them some support. So um, that's available now. And I'm super excited about that. I never really even thought about doing art, my own art as a diamond painting, um, aside from maybe make a, making a custom diamond painting. But when they approached me and said, we really like this picture that you made, can we make it into a diamond painting? I was like, ooh, I don't know. <laughs> What's the process of that? Um, it was very easy for, for me, um, so I do appreciate that. But um, yeah, it's, it's exciting. And uh, I'd, I have another one in mind that I'd like to make, but I don't know if it's too moody or not, uh, but we'll see. We'll see one day. I'm a little too busy for that right now. Let me tell you what's going on. So um, I decided that I was going to make my health a priority and um, to actually go and get a personal trainer. Um, she is a local in my town, so I actually know who this person is already, but um, it it's already helping a lot. Um, I suffer from a lot of stuff. If you haven't been here for a while, or if you didn't know, some of you, a lot of you probably don't know, uh, that back in 2018, I had a realization that I was suffering from depression. And uh, I, I'm sure that I had been for some time, but I didn't know. Uh, it's not always obvious if you've never been through it before, right? And I did, I got help, I got medicine, um, 
And eventually, after a few years, I was able to get talk therapy, which was excellent. I highly recommend doing that. Um, that's what really propelled me into feeling and being better. But more so, I think, for me than the medication. But medication is necessary in a lot of cases. But um, over the past many years, I've been having issues with my physical health. And a lot of that is just because I have been so stressed out um, year after year the past while. Um, we've had deaths in our immediate family, and that's caused us a lot of like stress and anxiety and all that stuff. So now that we feel, we both feel like we are kind of past that, we're, we're moving ahead, we're moving forward from that, you're never really, you know, you're not going to get over it. It's just a matter of like adjusting your life into your new normal, right? Um, so now that I feel like I'm on that path, I decided to prioritize my own health because I've been neglecting it for way too long. Um, when I got back, uh, I did, I did have some serious struggle and limitation um, from just coming back from travel, you know, traveling abroad. Um, and it was way worse than the last time that I went, which was earlier this year. So just in those short few months, I noticed a huge decline in what I was able to do. Uh, for example, uh, walking stairs, very, very difficult, don't know why, uh, but totally out of breath within just a few minutes or even seconds, really. Um, I had trouble like standing up from a seated position or from being bent over, like, you know, how you have to wash your hands at the sink and sinks are often low. So, and I'm a tall person. I'm a really tall person. Uh, so like, you know, bend over, use a sink and then just kind of standing back up. Couldn't do it. And I was like, what is going on with me now? A lot of that could have been just fatigue from traveling so much. I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch. Cause do you see how my lines are getting wonky? That's from, uh, I think that's from the horizontal uh, lines. So I'm just gonna straighten that up and then go vertical. Um, what am I saying? Yeah, so the, the stuff that I could do was very limited. Today, I had another meeting with my personal trainer and basically we went over a lot of nutrition. I'm not going to bore you or, uh, you know, go into detail, but it was very telling for me, uh, where I thought I was doing things to eat healthy, but I was, I was a little off. Um, I'm being kind to myself when I say that I was really off on what I thought what I thought was uh, doing the right thing and what's actually going to help me. This one has popped up on the other side too. Do you see here? Do you see how there's like a hollow underneath? Those don't stay down on the canvas. So I'm going to have to replace that one there. Anyhow, so I go in there. Uh, first of all, probably TMI, but a lot of, a lot of you ladies will probably understand. Uh, yesterday, randomly, uh, three days ahead of schedule, I 
got my cycle. Yeah. Three days early. Last night, I had a thought. Maybe I should cancel. Maybe I should call in early because typically uh, the first full day of of my time uh, is extremely painful and I was already feeling like really strong cramps and stuff and I was like man you know why me why does this happen that sort of thing well I didn't I decided not to message her and just see how I felt and guess what I felt fine this morning now the other reason why I was kind of you know on on edge and and stuff was because our car is still at the mechanics so <laughs> I had to walk well I would have had to walk except a friend of mine did give me a lift this morning but I did have to walk back anyway anyway anyway, anyway. okay I'm backing I'm getting off tangent welcome to my channel I cannot hold a thought for more than 15 seconds so uh I woke up this morning and I thought if I keep putting it off it's just gonna be harder and it's gonna take longer so I really struggled to get up and out of bed put on clothes eat something and out of desperation, call my friend and get a lift. Once I got there, I was really excited to share, you know, my progress and, you know, what was going on with me this week with my trainer. And our focus was, like I said earlier, on the food and stuff. So we sat down and we analyzed things and she showed me what to do, what I need to do, uh, and I won't be sharing, again, I won't be sharing that for two reasons. One, uh, talking about this kind of thing can be very triggering to some people, especially people who have tried and find it difficult to lose weight or to move their bodies. And I recognize that... Um, I'm coming from a place where I am not, I'm able-bodied enough to be able to, to do things. Not quite as good as I was, okay? So it, it feels a lot different now. Maybe because I'm getting older or uh, maybe I have some more, you know, physical deterioration especially in my lower back and stuff. And also all the problems that I've had with my ankle over the last few years, I'm really starting low, y'all. <laughs> like I'm not out here doing burpees or anything, but um, I, I don't want to make it unlistenable to those people. And also, uh, as someone who struggles uh, subconsciously, at least, with an eating disorder, I know that it could be hard to talk about or listen to people talk about food. I get it. But all I mean to say is that it was a lot harder for me to take it in this time. I was like, man, I thought I was doing so well. I was eating beans and, you know, that kind of thing. I was, I was, I thought I was doing the right thing, but according to her, we're changing it up. Okay. Then, um, I was, we did the, the stuff and she said, come in on Friday because we didn't really get much of the physical part done. I said, okay, bet we're going to do, we're going to do more stuff. 
on Friday and try to get that range of motion going and everything. Um, start small, yeah, but in, you know, eight weeks time, she said, it's going to be like night and day. We're going to look back on this and it's going to be really awesome. You're going to see such a, a difference. And I was like, oh, I'm really glad to hear that because it, for the longest time, and I know that many of you might feel the same way, it felt impossible. Um, my, you know, be, being able to do stuff felt impossible. And I really think that that was depression. So without rabbiting on about it too much, I am happy where this is going. It is really difficult though. And it's mostly mental. So I'll keep you posted. But then I left there. And we're not going to talk about the gym anymore. But we left there. And, or why do I keep saying we? I. I was alone. I left. I went to the grocery store uh, to pick up stuff. And it started to rain, of course. <laughs> because why wouldn't it? Uh, and I had to walk all the way back in the rain. And it was proper rain too. I mean, it's coming down right now. Uh, pretty hardcore rain. Uh, walk all the way home. And now I have the sniffles. So I am going to um, drink cups of tea. And I want to finish this section of my diamond painting. As I'm recording this, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm hoping that I can throw in like a little movie, you know, something short, something sweet, something nice. And I'm gonna finish this section at least before I move into the living room. But I'm feeling very cold today. And I thought that I would have more energy to, um, to film. Because I do have some sneak peeks from Diamond Art Club to share with you this week. Though I think they're both, both of these sneak peeks are going to come out on Friday for you all. But I do need to film those and edit and upload and everything. Um, and I'm excited to show you which ones I got. They are so cute. There's also going to be some really cool sneak peeks coming next week. So please get ready. <laughs> um, and that's not all, but I don't want to give it away. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot coming up. That's going to be really fun and switching gears for a minute. Um, we are probably, I've got a tentative kind of, timeline for the moving process and I'm pretty sure that we are going to be in the second week of November we are going to be spending time getting the house we're moving into ready um uh it's in town and so it's not very far away or anything we don't have to move a lot of stuff everywhere but um we are going to be getting it ready because um, it's got a lot of stuff in it already. So that's what November looks like for me. It's mostly going to be that. Um, not complaining at all, but uh, I will be kind of busy. So the five day schedule that I've been trying to keep up for a while may go to the wayside for a little bit. Also, I've been thinking about it a lot and I think that I'm going to pull back on Twitch because I'm not going to have a lot of spare time for that if I want to keep making videos, which I really do. So I may be kind of pulling back a little bit from Twitch and 
uh, focusing more here on YouTube for a little bit. So I do apologize to those of you who are on Twitch uh, who like to watch me um, over there. I will, I will get back to it, but it's really difficult. I do owe my Twitch viewers a special stream because they... There's like a thing where you can get points and work as a community to go towards a goal, a goal that the streamer sets. And I, I set a goal where we were going to finish some cross stitch into my stitchy journal. Um, so we're definitely going to do that stream. I just don't know when I'm going to be able to set it up. Um, I was hoping this week we will see. I will, I will let y'all know by, on Discord. I do have a Discord channel for Twitch. Um, I'll let you know when that's going to happen and I'll put an announcement here on YouTube too, so that you know when, uh, It'll be in the community tab, so you know when I'm going to go live on Twitch. I've gotten um, a lot of comments asking me to go live on YouTube, and I'm thinking about it, but um, I will have to move first. My, I think that one of the reasons why YouTube has never really worked for me here is because of my internet here. It's kind of like... Um, kind of like Starlink to be honest but it's it's a satellite internet for rural communities that's the one that I have right now where I live right now um, but when I move I'll be on like a fiber network so it'll be a lot faster and I might be able to um, make YouTube live work I'll have to test it out um, likely that'll be in the new year I have a couple of um, goals for the next while as far as like crafting goes and I need more drills. I can't believe I've only used one color and it's been 22 minutes. <laughs> but there's, there's a lot of color blocking on this particular um, section and it's a huge section too. But um. So I've been mulling it over and I talk with my mom and everything. And um, after I finish Cauldron of Myrrh, I'm going to start on my painting from Enablers Outpost. And I'll be super happy to, to get that started because it's a round drill diamond painting, y'all. I don't remember the last time I did a round drill. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at all my videos and I think if I go back so I finished oh do you know what actually if I type in post here and it'll show me all the post reviews that I've done in the past while um round drill round drill kimono by diamond shop that was last April, not this year, 2022 is when I finished that. That's the last time that I've worked on a round drill diamond painting. And before that, I finished Treasure Studios Art Halloween Secrets, which was also a round drill. And that was in February of 2022 when I finally finished that. So needless to say, it's been a really long time and um, like a really, really long time since I've worked on a round drill and I would like to, to do one again. And I really want to see my art turned into diamond painting. So I'm going to do that one. We'll see how long that takes for me to do. And then I guess, mm, I don't know. I suppose I should probably tell you now that I do not think I will have the ability to participate or to host in Winter with DAC this year. I have done it 
past two years, I've been the host of Winter with DAC um, with my friend Stephanie, who is Wolfpack Diamond Painting. Please check her out. Um, I, I believe that Stephanie may do this on her own if time allows. Uh, feel free to use the hashtag if you like, but there will be no prizes on my end um, this year because I need to focus on moving and getting settled in a new house. And I won't have the time and bandwidth to, and the, the attention that the event needs in order to be functional. So if it does go ahead, then I wish you all luck. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I would, if I were able to, to do it, I would work on that beautiful painting that I got, um, got it last year. It's of a woman and a fox around her neck. And I think if I go, sorry about this. I'm just going to do it live. I'm not going to pause it. Um, but if I go to unboxing diamond paintings and I scroll, I should be able to find it. It's going to just take me a second. She's so pretty as well. A lot of my, <laughs> a lot of my thumbnails look the same. Okay, let's see. I thought that, oh, it's not Blue Winter Wolf, although that one is a beautiful one as well. Hmm. I don't know where it is. Okay, sorry. I just went very quiet because I'm looking very closely. Maybe these aren't in order. Maybe that's the problem. Um, okay, ready? Diamond Heart Club. And I think that part of the title is Winter. Yeah, it's called Winter Fox. <laughs> Y'all. It's called Winter Fox. That's what it looks like. Sylvia Streak. And it's beautiful. I can't believe that the, the simplest name was the correct name. But yeah, that's the one that I would do if I had the time. I didn't have to think about moving my house and all of my stuff. I would be doing that. Um, let's see, more stuff. Uh, James and I have been working on the Diamond Painting Deep Dive series. Are you enjoying it? We are enjoying making it. Um, we are kind of doing Theory Tuesday again, but this time... It's very much more, it's less scattered and more concise. Each episode is very carefully thought out and timelined. So to make sure that we don't confuse anyone or say the same thing twice, we are doing it a little bit little bit better in my opinion but um we just uploaded another episode yesterday and it was a really good one we are about to film for next week's um installment which is going to be more information about Roswell which is always very interesting and I hope that you enjoy it it's kind of like a whip and chat but a little bit more quirky and hopefully, hopefully it's fun and exciting. <laughs> okay, sorry, I had to cough. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't know if there's much else going on. Really, I'm just trying to kind of keep my head above water here and um, keep making videos, but also like 
keep up with the housework and start this new journey that I'm doing. And um, it takes up a lot more time than I remembered it doing before. So um, it, it takes a lot more brain power and I'm not used to that. So it's making me sleepy. I haven't really cross-stitched that much. I've been focusing a lot on diamond painting. And then when I'm on the couch, I'm either zoning out on Instagram or um, or I'm knitting on my sweater. So I'm keeping it really simple. I'm only really working on three projects from the three different crafts. So Calder number for diamond painting, my summer sorrel sweater for knitting, and the seasons, oh no, what is it called? Mermaids of the Seasons Stitch Along by Bella Filipina. Those are the three that I'm working on. Uh, I had other plans originally, you know, we all... <laughs> Sometimes I get involved in just too many things at once, and this year is definitely a case of that. Um, even though I tried very, very hard to not join all the things, I still managed to fill my schedule with all these things that I wanted to do, <sighs> which isn't a terrible thing. It's nice to have hopes <laughs> and wishes, but um, I planned on working more on my Halloween cross stitch this year and I plan to work on said Halloween cross stitch but it's not happening um, because I want to keep up with the stitch along I don't want to fall behind because uh, if I do then I'll just sit in my whip pile for who knows how long but um the times that I have gotten to work on my cross stitch, it's been really nice. It really has. I am going to move over and I'm going to do N, which is this light gray right here, because I think that might be a big enough section for us to work on before I end the whip and chat. And I plan on doing all of this one vertically. Let's see. Oh, right. Books and TV. So I have gotten back into reading, which is exciting. Um, before I left for the States, I started this book called The Priory of the Orange Tree. And it was interesting, but overall, I would only give it three stars. Unfortunately, the pacing was very slow. Uh, it was fantasy, but it felt like it felt like I was trying to be a lot of genres at once. And it never really quite hit the mark on any particular category to me. The romance was eh. It wasn't, you know, like steamy or anything like that, but it also just lacked a lot of nuance. I don't know. Then that took that took a long time. That book is actually super long. I found out that it is like Lord of the Rings length, but I was listening to it on audiobook and working on this painting. And then I also, I finished it while I was traveling um, to and from the States. I did bring a book with me to the States, but I didn't touch it until I got back because I had a lot less uh, crafting time there than I thought I was going to have. Um, but I started and finished Iron Widow, which is, what is her name? How do I pronounce her name? Bear with me. She's a TikTok author. 
Goodreads. See if I can. I got logged out of everything on my computer because was it? I think it was the Irish Postal Service website. It messed up and um, something, an error occurred, you know, um, an error occurred over and over and over again when I tried to check out. And so I had to delete all the cookies and stuff. And so it logged me out of every website. <laughs> so I'm just kind of trying to uh, go back and fill it all in again, because usually it just keeps me logged in. Um, there is no, there is no pronunciation details here. So I'm going to do my best. I'm just looking at her website. Maybe if I, because if I say it wrong once, No. Uh, Shiron J. Zhao, maybe? Shiron? Um, I apologize, but Iron Widow is the name of the book. And it was such a good book. Uh, such a page turner. Amazing. Um, I really enjoyed it. I haven't read a book about Mecca before. And if you don't know what Mecca is, it's like Gundams, you know, like big, big machines that people pilot from the inside. They look like big robots. And I mean, I've watched a lot of anime with Mecha in them or Gundams in them, but I haven't actually read anything. And it was so exciting. Um, the love interests were fire. I absolutely loved the romance in the book. And so I did enjoy that a lot more. And I finished that book in three days, three sessions. I sat down and I, the first day that I picked it up, I read for probably six hours straight. <laughs> I did not want to put it down. I did not want to go to sleep. The second day that I picked it up, I only read for about an hour and then I put it down because I was like, Ooh, there's no way I'm going to be able to finish this book. So I found a spot in the book. Does anybody else do this? I found a spot in the book where I could put down the book because it wasn't too exciting. And then I was like, okay, I'll come back to it tomorrow. Picked it up the next day and I completed it. I finished it and I didn't know what to do with myself afterwards. It was so good. Um, there is a second book coming out in April of next year and I've already pre-ordered it. So yay. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, my next book is an audiobook version of Dune, which I am excited to read or listen to, however you want to say it. Um, because I find it really nice to now to sit and diamond paint with audiobooks. Um, I obviously I love listening to uh, whip and chats and stuff like that. But once I get once I finish them, and there are no more for me to listen to, then I I need something else. Uh, I did. However, in the meantime, because it is fall, I started Gilmore Girls over again. And I've never actually watched Gilmore Girls all the way through before. Um, so we'll see if I manage. But to be fair, I am not a huge Gilmore Girls person. Um, I find it really hard to connect with the characters. Um, and I guess that's just, you know, me and you know my situation or whatever. A lot of people feel the opposite. A lot of people feel connected to those characters. Maybe they had like a really good relationship with their mom or they were best friends with their mom or maybe it's the 90s nostalgia. I'm not 100% sure, but it does not quite hit the mark for me sometimes. So really the only reason that I am uh, watching it is just 
uh, Jensen Ackles. Is that his name? The guy that plays Dean? Or is his, is he, the, uh, I always forget. <laughs> Sorry. I always forget who is who between him and Jared. Um, but anyway, Supernatural ruined me, I think. Um, so, also his name is Dean in this, and then his name is Sam in the other thing, yeah. So, that is what I've been up to lately, which isn't, isn't too terribly much for me to share, I feel. Um, but if you were meeting me in, you know, for a coffee here in Ireland, uh, we would sit down and probably talk for hours about this stuff because I'm just learning a lot about my, myself and my limits again, that I, I had forgotten. I really needed to, you know, find the motivation to make positive changes for myself. And, um, now that I have it, now that I have made the decision to do this, I don't want to let go of it and I don't want to have it happen again. So it's really important to me to, um, to see this through and just make sure that I'm staying focused. Um, so I know that it's probably going to feel like maybe I'm, I'm going to be a little distant, uh, because I'm just doing my best in my day to day, but I am still here if you need anything. And if you have questions, you can always leave me a comment or, um, message me on Instagram. That's the best way. But in general, I'll probably be, <sighs> I have to be a, a lot more active than I've, I've been in a long time. And the treadmill should be arriving uh, either tomorrow or Friday. And it's, it's just, it's just different. So I still am enjoying my downtime where I can craft. But now I'm finding that I'm, my time is filled again. And it's very interesting. It's an interesting process. Uh, I'll, obviously I'll be able to talk about it more once I get further. You know, it's, it's only, what, week two technically. Or maybe even week one. But, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I saw Gigi. I saw Gigi the other day um, from here, from the craft room. I saw her out in the driveway and I waved at her and she ran away. <laughs> so she seems to be living her best life. Um, she's not hurt. She's not malnourished or anything like that. So I think somebody is feeding her. Somebody is taking care of her. Maybe she's even an indoor cat in somebody else's house. But um, she does not come around often. And when she does, I try really hard to show her that I still care. That, you know, she's a good cat. And um, But I don't want her to think that I'm going to trap her. Do you know what I mean? Um, if you didn't know, it wasn't last year. It was a year before last. In 2021? Yes. In 2021, back when I, the year I started Twitch, actually, um, I found this cat outside and I managed to trap her. I was worried that she was going to be, um, I was worried that she wasn't fixed. So I took her to get her fixed. And it turns out, she had already been fixed. Um, so that was, that was kind of scary. I was like, why don't you, why don't you tag their ears? That's so weird. Like she's an outdoor feral cat. We don't know if she has a home or not. There's no microchip or anything because apparently you don't need microchips for cats here, just dogs. Um, and so yeah, I had to 
eventually she didn't want to stay. She didn't want to stay and she escaped like three times. And the third time I just gave up um, trying to find her and bring her back in because I realized that she doesn't, you know, she didn't want to be in the house with us because of Luna, uh, which was a hard pill to swallow, but you know, I can understand Luna can be a bit much. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so she's been out of, our, out of our house since. And I guess in total, she was with us for what, three months? Three or so months, she was with me when I first got COVID for the first time. Um, that was rough. But, you know, she she actually did a world of good for my mental health. Um, because there's something about cats and them purring, you know. And it just, I don't know, it really, it really helped my soul. <laughs> it was nice. So I see Gigi every once in a while and I think of her fondly always. Um, she has what looks like uh, brothers and sisters um, or at least cousins <laughs> uh, in my neighborhood that sometimes come up by. There's a black and white tuxedo cat who I see frequently and I feed him. But I think that these are just a collection of neighborhood cats who roam the streets looking for suckers like me who give them extra food on top of whatever they're giving at home. That's what I believe anyway. But none of them, as far as I know, are microchipped. So if they weren't, you know, roaming around free and loving it, I would absolutely swoop them up. But they are very fiercely independent and do not want to be near people. Definitely never, I've never gotten the, um, you know, leg rubs or anything like that. They're not getting that close to me. Uh, the most that I get are slow blinks. <laughs> I'll stick, I'll, I'll take the slow blinks any day um, because that just means that they love you, but, and they, they see you and they appreciate, they feel safe around you, but uh, they definitely don't want to stay in the house with me. Um, and, oh, that one has a hole in it. I'm going to take it off and put it in the trash. So, oh, we're at 50 minutes now almost. Um, I hope I didn't bore you too much with the uh, fitness and gym talk. I'm sure that, I know that for a lot of people that might be too much and I'm trying really hard not to let it take over my channel you know um so i do i do apologize in advance i will try to keep it to a minimum um but i am kind of excited to like run and stuff again it's been a long time and i don't know if i'm able to do it <laughs> anymore so we'll see and I am also excited to see your finishes for Drills and Chills. I've been watching the Instagram tags, the hashtag on Instagram. So it's really nice to see all of those finishes. And even if you don't finish, it's still really nice to, to see all these Halloween paintings. I, I love Halloween so much. What's your favorite holiday? Let me know in a comment down below. But um, Halloween is my favorite holiday. So this weekend, the plan is to do the community event that James has planned um, in our town. It's the Beast of Bean uh, I'm very excited for this because a lot of the inspiration 
for this event actually came from filming for you all and uh, for for making these weird and wacky videos the theory Tuesday videos in the past and um, so it's been it's been fun to see that kind of come out into a real world application if you will if I can take photos without children's faces in them or by blurring out their face, I will do that and I will share those photos with you. Um, but I want to make sure that I, you know, keep children's identities safe. Um, so I will share those pictures next week. Uh, but that's the plan anyway. I don't know if we're, we were invited to go to a concert on Sunday, but we might actually just be flat out wrecked after Saturday. So we'll see. We'll see what we do. But hopefully, otherwise, it'll be a nice relaxing weekend. Well, look at that. We finished all of that color. We finished all of the purple color as well. So thank you all so much for your company today. I hope that you got a lot done on your painting. Let me know what painting you're working on too. I'd love to know. And are you, what is your next painting going to be? I will check in with you all soon. I will see you for more videos this week. Uh, and I hope that you all take care and stay safe and do all the YouTube-y things. Thank you so much in advance. I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.